Hi guys, few days back I had an interview with Siddharth Gupta aka College Companion and in this interview we spoke all about economics, finance, economics as a profession, how I got over here, UGC net examination. So it was a fun and enriching interview and I'm posting this on my channel. Do watch it out and let me know how you found it and let me know in case you're interested to watch more such sessions. Take care and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hey guys, this is Sadat and you are watching College Companion. And today we have a very special guest with us. Over the last two weeks, Khambu Kafisa queries economics related because I keep posting about it. So who else better than Vidhi Kalra to help us? Vidhi Kalra is currently an assistant professor at Symbiosis College in Pune. And her channel is 5 Minute Economics, where she talks about economics ke concepts. Ke mein baat karti hai. Uh, we'll briefly discuss all these topics around <laughs> economics, around her work with regards to economics. Hi Vidhi, first of all, how are you doing? Hello, how are you all? Firstly, thank you so much for the lovely introduction. And yes, it's nice to have all of you who are hearing us. So yeah, let's get started. So Vidhi, first of all, there is confusion hai with regards to economics. So if you can tell us what is economics? So basically, I don't want to give a very bookish, uh, you know, definition, definition, because I'm sure that anyone can just go and Google it and find it. So I feel economics is something uh, which is omnipresent. It is there everywhere. And we actually don't realize it. I mean, it's a very budding subject. I would say back in like maybe if we think uh, very few people took economics as a career you know like engineering doctor that was the main thing ca all those things were there but now with the coming times i've seen so many people have got an interest in economics and moreover if you see that um, even if you go for any competitive examination you see eco you know if you are even doing a ba course you're preparing for upsc either you are you know ugc net eco comes everywhere. It's actually very much present in all the places. And I would say ki, economics is something which we don't realize that we are uh, taking an economic decision every day in our life. You know, a very simple example I would give uh, when we start studying economics, like just the very primary level. So we are taught in the very first chapter that how do we allocate our uh, scarce resources to our unlimited wishes. We all have unlimited wishes. Like we all know, even like everyone can relate to me with that. We can't possibly possibly buy everything what we desire. So we kind of think that, yeah, cha, chalo, abhi ye le lete hai, and then later on we can buy that. So something, uh, economics is something like that only. You are taking a decision of buying what you are, you know, your resource allocation. It's basically a study of business, study of money, all of it. You know, economics is everywhere. I would just say that. And since I love economics so much, I, I don't want to sound very biased, but it is a really upcoming subject and one should know about it. Even if you're from the uh, other background or other, you know, you're not even related to economics, but you know, news may, if you read the newspaper, it's more of economics everywhere. So that is what I would say about economics from my side. So yeah. that's a very broad answer and I think it's a tough insight milta hai ki, uh, about the omni, omnipresent aspect of economics but there is a lot of confusion with regards to you know people tend to confuse economics with finance. So the newspaper ka ek finance wala page hota hai, business wala page hota hai. people tend to confuse Haan. it a lot. So what do you want to say about that? So I feel economics ko na, uh, stocks are very confused. Karte. Like people think if you're an economist, then they, sometimes people have asked me, you know, what stock to invest in? And I'm like, really? Like I have just recently started to invest. I myself am learning. And uh, to know a lot about stocks, I'm not the right person. So people always confuse economics with finance, with stock. And that is what comes with mathematics. All of it, you know, some people are confused. Kar rete. So I think finance, if I would say general layman ke term, mein, ki finance is more of, you know, managing of funds, managing your cash, managing your assets. That is basically what uh, short me aga bolu, crux of uh, finance. But economics me kya jata economics me more of managing your resources, managing your goods, managing services. It's that I would say. As I just explained like a bit in the first very question that how do we allocate our uh, desires and wishes and demands to scarce resources. So that is more of economics rather than just about money which is finances you know, money so much ke finance will come in our mind. Economics is money and a lot more than money. So that is what I feel, the difference between the two. 
एंड इन इकोनॉमिक्स ऑल्सो हम मतलब इलेवन ट्वेल्थ में हुएवर स्टडीड इकोनॉमिक्स या उसके बियॉन्ड देर इज अ वेरी कॉन्क्रीट डिविजन बिटवीन माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक एंड देन देर इज इकोनोमेट्रिक सो दीज सब्जेक्ट आर क्वाइट कॉमन वेन यू स्टार्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट इकोनॉमिक्स सो वो किस किस एस्पेक्ट पे काम करते हैं दीज सब्जेक्ट्स ओके सो आई थिंक एक अगर कोई भी जनरल किसी ने शायद इको के बारे में थोड़ा भी सुना हो दे माइट नो कि माइक्रो थोड़ा क्या होता है इंडिविजुअल लेवल देखता है और मैक्रो एज दे से कि होल इकोनॉमी टर्म्स में लाइक इट्स अ वाइडर लाइक वाइडर स्कोप होता है माइक्रो हर चीज का माइक्रो जो हम पढ़ते हैं एज द नेम सजेस्ट थोड़ा छोटा लेवल होता है माइक्रो इज द ओवरऑल होल इकोनॉमी का वर्किंग ना कि एक फर्म का या एक इंडस्ट्री का वेरस uh, अभी तो मुझे लगता है इकोनॉमिक्स के बहुत सारे जॉनर्स आ गए माइक्रो माइक्रो तो अब बहुत कम रह गए अब कितने सारे बिहेवियरल इकोनॉमिक्स बी एड यू नो इकोनोमेट्रिक्स एज यू जस्ट मेंशन दैट इज अ वेरी अपकमिंग सब्जेक्ट एंड फाइनेंशियल इकोनॉमिक्स इज देयर अपना डेवलपमेंट इकोनॉमिक्स इंटरनेशनल इकोनॉमिक्स सो इकोनॉमिक्स काफी सारी उसकी फील्ड है लाइक इनिशियली जो हम पढ़ना शुरू करते हैं एवरी वन जो स्टडीज विद इको एंड देन उसको हम डिवाइड करते हैं इवन आई हैव इन माई मास्टर्स सेकेंड ईयर में आई गॉट टू स्पेशलाइज इन इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड तो मैंने ट्रेड में थोड़ा स्पेशलाइजेशन किया तो दैट इज देयर की वो तो आपके इंटरेस्ट के ऊपर है आप डेवलपमेंट में जाओ अर्बन डेवलपमेंट में जाओ बहुत सारी फील्ड है इकोनॉमिक्स के सो दैट इज देयर विच या सो इट स्टार्टेड टू बिकम वेरी अम्ब्रेला टर्म जिसमें ऑलमोस्ट एवरी फील्ड इज इंटरेक्टिंग एट सम लेवल फॉर एग्जाम्पल बी एवल इकोनॉमिक्स यू वुड हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ एस्पेक्ट फ्रॉम साइकोलॉजी गेटिंग Yeah, exactly, exactly. So that you might relate to me, like we all know, Abhi Jo Ronaldo wala incident hua. Yeah. You know, he just took two bottles of coke and value of coke fell. So this is actually behavioral economics only. Ki you know, you we see the behavior of people. One, you know, his just two seconds ka move of removing bottle of coke and putting water. Like this can be a whole study. Ki kaise uske stocks gire? There are a lot of other things, but this this is what behavioral economics is. You know. हम जब कभी भी कुछ खरीदने जाते हैं सेल सेल है सस्ता है लेट्स जस्ट बाय इट यू नो सो दैट इज हाउ बिहेवियरल इकोनॉमिक्स वर्क्स यू नो स्टडिंग द बिहेवियर ऑफ पीपल हाउ दे ऑफ द कंज्यूमर कैसे वो रिएक्ट करेंगे अगर वो 50 प्लस 49 वो ऐसे करके यू नो परसेंटेज ऑफ हाउ दे पुट इट सो दिस इज ऑल दिस इज अ वेरी रीसेंट इंसिडेंट व्हिच हैपेंस सो आई जस्ट वांटेड टू बिग ब्रिंग इट टू यू ऑल कि दैट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ बिहेवियरल इकोनॉमिक्स वाओ एंड अब आपकी करियर की बात करें सो हाउ डिड योर इंटरेस्ट स्टार्टेड इन इकोनॉमिक्स आई थिंक आपने बैचलर्स यू हैव फॉलोड अ प्रॉपर इकोनॉमिक्स करियर फ्रॉम बैचलर्स सो इसमें कहा से कैसे स्टैब्लिश हुआ एंड हाउ डू यू फील अबाउट इट so basically it's not like i just started from bachelors i have been studying economics for past 10 years i mean i chose it as an optional subject in class 9 so abhi kafi time ho gaya that i got a quarter in economics and then i mean it was something which interested me like you know from the very beginning mujhe padh ke maza aata tha i used to score well also you know at that time something which you score well aapko lagta hai aapka interest usme and i definitely had my interest in that and that's the reason when i went for my graduation undergrad i would say so then i uh, did uh, bachelor's in economics i had specialized in economics like how you call it in bombay since i did it from jai hind uh, college bombay there they call it eco majors du mein jaoge to aap eco honors bolte hai like how they call it like that so that was my interest about and uh, in my third year of uh, undergrad i was little confused or should i go for a you know generic mba how people most of the people of us think or should i just go for core economics i was little confused at that time but i think i at that time took a very good decision ki mai socha ki jo mera interest hai ya jo mera forte hai why should i just go for an mba because everyone else is going let me just stick to that and that is why then maine masters bhi economics kiya i did msc economics uh, from symbiosis pune itself so that is how my interest it began back in school and it just kept going <laughs> that way so you are an assistant professor Wow. Yes, yes. So basically, right after my master's, you know, I just want to put my that journey. So uh, I never had in my mind that I will become a professor. I mean, teaching career was never in my mind, even till my master's. Like when I completed my master's, I thought that you know, corporate job, how everyone thinks that master's ke baad ab apna job hai, life is settled. You know, that kind of thinking I also had. But then I started to think when you know. Uh, 
कॉलेज में प्लेसमेंट होने लगी आई डेंट इवन सिट फॉर सिंगल प्लेसमेंट बिकॉज आई वॉज लाइक वाई डू आई वॉन्ट डू दैट लाइक डू आई रियली वॉन्ट डू दैट और जस्ट बिकॉज माई फ्रेंड्स एंड माई बैचमेट्स आर सिटिंग फॉर द प्लेसमेंट लेट मी जस्ट ऑल्सो सेट सो एट दैट पॉइंट आई टू कॉल के लेट मी जस्ट थिंक एंड गो स्लो आई मीन आई वॉज लाइक आई नेवर हैड एनी फैमिली प्रेशर और एनी थिंग लाइक दैट टू जस्ट टेक अप अ जॉब इमीजिएटली आई वॉन्ट टू टेक अ ब्रेक आफ्टर माई मास्टर्स एंड दैट इज वेन आई केम बैक टू माई होम टाउन लखनऊ एंड आई स्टार्ट टू थिंक की वी नो वॉट लाइन्स टू गो ऑन डू आई रियली वॉन्ट टू डू अइन टू फाइव जॉब और डू आई रियली वॉन्ट गो इन टू कोर रिसर्च the kind of a job so that is the time i thought ki why not give ugc net because you know back in my undergrad mai apne bahut friends ko economics mein help karti thi you know like when jab bhi paper hota tha they used to like padha de you know just teach us this so i used to just do it and they always used to say you teach really well so i never took that compliment as a very serious thing but later on i realized ki ha mujhe padhane mein interest hai and why not give an attempt for ugc net exam jo lectureship ke liye and professorship ke liye you know you need that paper so i was like ki but mere kuch friends ne diya bhi tha back in my master but i had never attempted for that because i was like that is not my interest back then uh later on then i started to prepare and i thought let me just focus on one thing like let me not do any internship or anything so when i four months like i devoted for this exam because it is a little tough one i mean you need to prepare a lot how huh? you know competitive exams koi bhi exam easy nahi in fact so i was lucky i would say that mera first stroke mein clear ho gaya tha exam so that is what happened back in 2019 so maine wo clear kiya and then i became eligible to become a professor in a university so that is how my journey started <laughs> yeah i mean you also had those doubts that whether to you know sit for placement and then uh, yeah. some sort of clarity that you let's try this and after uh-huh. delving into ugc net you realize that this is something you enjoy and would want to carry ye to try karke dekhna hai attempt karna hi you know like yeah. i was like why when i tell try to get it what if i clear i also had my doubts that what if i not because the percentage to clear is very little but thankfully i could to matlab aisa nahi hai ki i was very sure from the very beginning ki mujhe teaching mein hi jana hai with time i think i at that stage of life everyone has like 20 21 maybe all are confused ki ab kya what next ab grad ho gaya kya karna masters ho gaya kya karna you know so with time i think with dheere dheere uh, doubts maine clear karte gaye i took some suggestions and you know everyone helped me out and then thankfully i could get the feel which i love and not just <laughs> do what i want to do but i love to do amazing and if you can tell us a little bit about ugc net what exam it is how often it happens and uh, anything you would like to share about it hmm. so basically ugc net exam is an important exam for the point of view of lectureship as i just mentioned and secondly for even phd some universities want you to clear the net exam then only you can apply for even phd so this exam uh, back then like back in 2019 i would say now since because of the pandemic things have changed it used to happen twice a year once in june and once in december and basically it has two papers one is your general paper which is for everyone and one is your subject which you are focusing on so if you know if i want to become a professor in english i would need to give the english exam plus the general paper so i gave two papers one was the general paper and the second one was the economics so that is how it works and 50% matlab uska more weightage is on the core paper so 200 questions basically came from your economics and 100 from your general but you need to clear both of them and uska passing percentage is uh, very low it's i think 40% or something but then just clearing the exam wouldn't make you yeah no no you you wouldn't be eligible so uske baad it's on percentile based so i believe if you score above 94 percentile then only can you uh, then you clear the exam matlab like 40% is so nothing it's just just you have cleared it but if you are eligible for grf and uh, ls that is lectureship uh-huh. then you need to score above 94 percentile so that is how this exam works i mean okay many people are still not aware about it because it's not a very like how cat ka exam is very famous this exam people don't know but it's a really matlab like, scope bahut hai is exam ka if you clear it i would say yeah okay so it's like even in even in gate i mean they have some sort of qualification but it does no okay. good it does no good like you uh, said for you just exactly. yeah, it's, it's, it's just that you have clear, you have cleared but there, there is no use percentile based yeah. yeah yeah so okay wo cut offs different hote for different subjects and since i am good giving you for economics i would say economics ka cut off one of the highest hota hai so if mm-hmm. you are preparing for that to matlab thoda difficult hai mm-hmm. but i would say aisa bhi nahi hai ki rocket science and you can't clear it of course aap mehnat karoge to ho jayega clear 
सो इट हैज फॉर वेरियस सब्जेक्ट इवन फ्रेंच योगा आपको कोई भी एग्जाम में पीएचडी करनी है या प्रोफेसर बनना है यू नीड टू गिव नेट दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज कंपलसरी इन इंडिया या ओके एंड अराउंड 94 95 परसेंटाइल इफ यू गेट यू हैव अ गुड चांस ऑफ क्लियरिंग अराउंड 90 या उसमें या या एक्जेक्टली एंड बोथ नीड टू क्लियर लाइक योर फर्स्ट पेपर पेपर 1 एंड पेपर 2 अबव दैट तो 98 90 थैंक यू अराउंड देन ओनली यू आर सेफ <laughs> like and that. I read your and I read your your CV also. I think you had something like ninety eight or ninety nine percentile. So I scored ninety nine point two five in paper one. No, oh. काफी अच्छा हो गया था मेरे. And oh. paper two में ninety seven point कुछ था. तो मेरा overall ninety eight point nine बना था. So it was a good like score, I would say. Wow. So yeah. <laughs> definitely good. I mean, you will obviously obviously downplay it, but yeah, ninety eight point plus is amazing. And and now if you talk about your experience till now as a professor i don't think you had enough chance because of the lockdown yeah, the <laughs> lockdown so i mean i would say i have had a good chance uh, that way because i have uh, because of my channel i could do uh, you know asynchronous as well as synchronous so because i joined college and you know the pandemic began so i never had the chance to interact with my students uh in real time i would say but i mean i would say virtually what i said real hum log mil nahi paye the but uh, it has been nice it has been short and sweet and usually i used to feel a little weird you know just talking to the laptop and there are a lot of people who are hearing you i feel they are hearing me <laughs> but uh, you know not getting replies and because obviously i can very well imagine if i was on their side so was about case laptop khol ke no one wants to you know even you go to class you meet your friends you see someone talking so that's a different experience overall and uh, overall that experience has been good but i would say my experience on youtube asynchronous learning jo meri audience wahan par hai they have also appreciated and liked my work so it's a good experience teaching wise i would say and still learning i i would say i'm still very young i'm i'm still very new there are a lot of experienced people and me who can matlab um, i have still a lot of scope in this field abhi to start kiya hai bas i would say yeah yeah we'll come back in a few years and then use your experience <laughs> for our video so definitely yeah and uh, what would you like to say to you know budding uh, economist budding professors you know uh, that <laughs> yeah i mean i mean how can they improve their research profile ugc net is obviously one thing but if uh, someone yeah. if someone is very sure starting their bachelors that you know they want to become mm. a professor someday so Uh, how should they you know prepare themselves is there something external that they can use with regards to internships or projects or research papers so what would you suggest to them definitely uh, internships as you just mentioned is something which is now picking up a lot of, like now a bit thoda dheela ho gaya because of you know the pandemic but internships obviously count a lot and you ex- jitna aap experience karoge you will learn you know experience se you tend to learn a lot secondly research papers definitely uh, back few years back i would say even when i was doing my undergrad the research ki ta value nahi tha but i would say within 5 to 6 years the scope has changed you know up undergrad maybe log research uh, colleges are encouraging students for uh, writing a research paper so i mean research paper definitely writing that if you are planning to go in this field secondly i said agar aap research paper mein nahi interested ho ya thoda boring lagta hai even i you know till now i don't find research very interesting i'm more of like into teaching so i would say write your own blog have your own blog thoda likho follow people who actually um, you know like um, like they tell you good things uh, as as in related to economics and i mean uh, you know in the newspaper we tend to read so many terms uh, we we don't know the meaning you pick up the newspaper and there are like nbfcs and uh, you know loan monetarium and what all comes so all of that you can just read a little i i as a professor even till now i hate reading a newspaper i would be frank to tell you mujhe न्यूज पेपर पढ़ना बिल्कुल पसंद नहीं बट देन ऑब्वियसली आई नीड टू रीड आई नीड टू बी अपडेटेड फॉर माय स्टूडेंट्स फॉर माय सेल्फ सो ऑन माय फोन आई हैव सो मेनी एप्स लाइक लाइव मिंट का एप है सो आई हैव डाउनलोडेड ऑल ऑफ देम सो उसमें नोटिफिकेशंस आते हैं देन आई टेंड टू रीड इट सो आई वुड से इट टुक मी वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम टू रीड ऑल दीस आर्टिकल्स एंड जर्नल्स एंड आई बैक इन माय कॉलेज डेज आई नेवर यूज्ड टू बट इफ यू वांट टू कम इन दिस फील्ड एंड इवन इफ यू डोंट वांट टू आई मीन आई वुड से कि रीडिंग बीइंग अपडेटेड विद न्यूज़ डेफिनेटली हेल्प्स अ लॉट यू नो मैं तो अभी थोड़ा ज्यादा पढ़ती हूं बिकॉज़ फॉर माय पेज आई वांट गुड कंटेंट आई वांट माय ऑडियंस टू नो ऑल ऑफ दैट 
but i would say reading definitely helps and uh, you know now to instagram pe we have so many like i am not only promoting my page but there are so many people who teach such well, good things and at very very cute way 30 seconds ke reels mein we get good information so follow such people you will be updated you don't have to put a lot of effort and that way you can learn also and it's nice also so yeah that is what i would say to budding uh, you know economists and who want a career in this particular field yeah yeah i think that's a very good point it's we can say that it's the 21st century way of studying because at the time when you or i would be in school we had a very mm. traditional sense of uh, education we had a very traditional idea of education that you know there are books you learn from them you have your queries you go to your teachers but now a lot has changed we have a lot of people on the internet that inspires us that uh, you know gives us some sort of direction and something to look forward to as you said that even in such small time people are trying people are coming up with such beautiful videos and creative ideas that can really inspire you and increase your interest in the subject Not- and you are one such example i mean you 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 started mm-hmm. a youtube channel you are also active on instagram and you talk a lot about economic terms and recently when covid came and you also talked about vaccinations and mm-hmm. we we as creators do not see the impact of it but when we see it from the point of view of a viewer as i do in in your case you know i observe what you do mm-hmm. and i think that that impact is quite huge very sweet of you to say i am happy you know <laughs> the content creators or whoever are making such videos they also want ki acha feedback hota hai na so we are also motivated to find yeah. more i mean recently i made one on cryptocurrency since that's the top exactly. of the art so i'm like little little by little i can you know i need to first learn a lot do then only i can uh, you know educate my uh, audience in a fun way i just don't want to make yeah. it very boring and that way i just try my best to do it yeah you also mentioned blogs i think anyone can write a blog these days uh, make a short video you know these these sort of uh, these sort of actions also have other advantages you know your personality improves you you learn your communication skill you learn to sure. jot down a concept in a very you know small and uh, catchy way you learn a lot when you teach i mean exactly. uh, as a now i've started to teach in college and when students ask me something or you know even i my knowledge increases so you know as they say there's no end to learning we can always learn so that way if you are teaching someone you yourself are learning so much in the process of teaching so that is definitely there this was a very important conversation with regards to <laughs> economics and its status and coming from coming this right from you who is uh, currently you know pursuing a career in the same uh, i think our audience would be really delighted to have this thank you so much mm-hmm. for your time thank you. i <laughs> thank really want to pitch in 5 minute economics where vidhi puts a lot <laughs> lot of effort in you know thank simplifying you the concept of economics so, i actually when i started this channel i didn't know i will get such a good response and i'm really happy it's doing well all thanks to my viewers subscribers who take the effort to watch my videos so definitely and people like you who appreciate our work so that 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 i would say encourages us and motivates us to work even harder that is there yes thank, thank you, you so much that for- yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much yes. do check out her channel i asked i asked vidhi about ugc i think she also has a full fledged video on that topic so i'll put that link in the description as well yeah. Now the tips and tricks. I've made three videos on UGC net pre- preparation, and I'll definitely be coming with more videos. So that definitely has helped a lot of people. I'm not saying it; people have told me. So you can actually refer to that because it's a detailed video. I don't want to make this session yeah. only about that. So you can actually refer to that video. Yeah. Thank you so much Thank for you. having me. Bye, guys. Take care and follow my channel. And please uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and follow my page and also follow. college companion who does really amazing work as well thank you so much